Today I'm going to do a book review and basically I've been wanting to do this book review for such a long time which is why today I'm just going to lay out all the books that I have for a fashion illustration and kind of give you a rundown of the books that I loved versus the books that I didn't really love so much. So let's get started. There's a lot of books that I want to talk about and we don't have a lot of time. This book here, Contemporary Fashion Illustration Techniques by Milwaukee Watanabe. I just, you know, it's just such a nice and light book and everything's inside. It even goes as far as to telling you how to work your croquis and or garment in Photoshop. Another great book is this one here. It's called Fashion Drawing Illustration Techniques for Fashion Designers. And it's by Michael Wenzen Bryant. Not only does it have information, but it has a really beautiful illustration that's just like a Bible. So, you know, it's one of those books that is not only a technical book, but it's also very beautiful to look at. And I'm gonna show you inside some of the illustrations. So basically, whatever, everything that's in this book, you'll find it in this book. However, this is more of a technical book, and this is a technical and inspirational book. And um, it's, it's more beautiful to look at. However, if I was a student and I wanted to choose one, I would go with this one, just because it's so light and I can just carry it everywhere. And my second choice would be this one. Another book that I would have loved to have when I was in school is this one, Advanced Fashion, Advanced Fashion Drawing Lifestyle Illustration. And I would have loved to have this book. Excuse me, let me go over the thing. His name is Bill Donovan and he's a wonderful fashion illustrator in the fashion industry and he just has a really beautiful style of drawing croquis. So um, anyways, this book I would have loved to have in school. Why? Because I, when I was taking fashion, figure fashion, live figure fashion drawing, no, live figure, anyways, it's where you draw naked people, nude people, it's okay. So anyways, in this class, my professor would always tell us to focus on a certain aspect of the illustration, but um, I would always also go into a workshop and he wasn't telling us what to do, but if I would have this book, it would have given me a little homework to do. It's just a wonderful book. It's just beautiful. Like I love these pages. They're matte. And, and it's just to develop a really unique style, basically. So I highly, highly recommend this book. Books I didn't really like. This book here is called Fashion Illustration Next, okay? This book is not one of my favorite. Why? Because it's outdated. It's just, let's see, from what date is it? From, and I should have known it's 2004. It's 2004, we're 2016, 12 years old. For a book that has that's kind of like an inspirational book, I just think it's outdated. I wish that I wish that um, I don't know, maybe some people would like it. I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. I just don't think that some some drawings are okay and then the other ones are really bad. So I just don't like that. Um digital fashion illustration. Digital fashion illustration with Photoshop and Illustrator. Okay, this book here, I understand it's outdated, okay? But anyways, Photoshop doesn't change so much. I just wanted a book to show me the the you know the secrets to to drawing in Photoshop fashion illustrations, and there was nothing that I I just didn't learn anything, and I wish I didn't buy this book. So I don't recommend this book. Sorry. So next book, fashion illustration digital, another book. Same mistake. I don't know what, why these people publish these books. They're they're really nice and everything, but it just doesn't have enough explanation. It has a nice. They have. They have. It has a nice diagram here. Nice diagram with a tiny explanation like here. And honestly, sometimes you need just more explanation. Sorry, it's a. 
complex um, it's a complex software with more explanation needed to accomplish these these techniques. I wish they, they had more explanation in this it comes with a CD but no explanation in the CD. It's just a bunch of um, samples that you can work off of. Which brings me to this glorious book. Okay, this book here is Lifesaver. So if you want to impress your teachers, get this book. Because this book, if you're a fashion student, will enormously help you because she explains very well everything. And if you look in, inside of it, nothing special. All of these ugly diagrams, yes. But you don't need beautiful diagrams. All you need is someone that tells you step by step how everything works in this software because it's a complex software and you need really dummy explanations and she does that for you very beautifully. Thank you so much, Robin Schneider. I don't think she has a book for Photoshop, but she has this wonderful course on lynda.com and I actually took it with the seven day trial and it was amazing and I'm so happy I took it. And thank you so much for giving me such a wonderful overview. Okay, so here we go. Another book that I don't think is a wonderful book, but I don't think it's a horrible book. I just think it's a book. It's just, I don't know. So anyways, reason why I don't like it, I just don't like fuzzy books. I don't like books with a bunch of images and a bunch of bunch of things, and this is what this book is. So look at it. I mean, it's wonderful. Her drawing style is beautiful, but I wish it wasn't so fuzzy. It's just so much to look at and so many things. And I don't know, I guess when you're like a fashion student and you're like learning all these things, I guess it could be inspirational, but for me it just wasn't. I guess some people may like it. I don't know. I, if some, I don't know. If, if somebody has this book, can you please tell me if you liked it or not? It's called Fashion Portfolio Design and Presentation by Anna Keeper. Okay, so that's the end of this review. So stay tuned because I'm going to do another video for my portfolio. Yes, because I had one and I'm going to do another one. But listen to this. My, my second portfolio I did using the book, the this book and her tips. And I actually rendered all of my croquis in Photoshop. So they came out pretty nice and I, I did it a while ago but I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. Well anyways, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for my, so much for subscribing. I really appreciate for all those people that are subscribed. I know there's not that many but this is a growing channel so I believe in it and thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye! Mwah.